Did you know that electrocuting your muscles can make your muscles bigger and stronger? Okay, well, maybe not that type of electrocution, but electrical stimulation can actually improve muscle activation and decrease muscle atrophy after an injury with just one little tool. Hey Prehabbers, we are here today to talk about one of our favorite pieces of equipment here at Prehab HQ, the PowerDot MT. The PowerDot MT is a wireless, yep, wireless NMES or neuromuscular electrical stimulation unit designed to make neuromuscular re-education and restoring muscle function easy and effective in the clinic. It's crazy to think about how far technology has come since we were in PT school. We used to lug around these like 10 to 20 pound boxes with wires coming out of them on a cart that'd be close to a wall that had to be plugged in all in the while getting tangled up, making you feel like you were tangled up in some sort of like electrical tentacles or something like that. Right? So anytime you tried to use it, it was just super inconvenient and really just inefficient when you're trying to spend time with your patients and integrate uh, neuromuscular re-education into your treatment sessions. Needless to say, this made using NMES units very difficult and inconvenient to use. The pads just don't stick well. The devices need to be plugged into an outlet. Placement of the pads can be difficult. The list goes on and on. So if you're a PT in an outpatient orthopedic or sports setting, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That's where the power dot comes in. I kid you not when I say they have thought of everything to make facilitating and improving muscle function following an injury or surgery easy for both the clinician and the patient. We know that the early addition of NMES can effectively attenuate the loss of muscle. For example, the quads and hamstrings following an injury or a surgery like a total knee replacement or an ACL reconstruction. However, in order to achieve these results, it's important that we are set up for success in the clinic. So using technology that is well-validated, effective, and easy to use. And that is where the power dot comes in. But before we dive into our newfound obsession with how and why we love our power dot MT so much, let's review the who, the what, and the why NMES is even important to begin with. Neuromuscular electrical stimulation has been proven to improve muscle activation, decrease edema, and mitigate muscle atrophy secondary to arthrogenic inhibition in the post-operative population. There are obviously so many other great uses that NMES can have if you are working in a setting with a different population, like a neurological population, for example. But today we are going to focus on the benefits of how and why the Power.MT is a game changer in our orthopedic and sports settings. So to review, essentially, when consciously activating a muscle, we generally recruit from the smaller muscle fibers or motor units first, and with increased effort, we can activate the larger muscle fibers and motor units to maximize muscle recruitment and contraction when performing a motion or task. However, after an injury or a surgery, due to factors such as arthrogenic inhibition from swelling and pain, we can lose the ability to maximally recruit all of these motor units and therefore our muscles. That's where NMES comes in. Generally speaking, the electrical stimulation from the unit works essentially opposite to our conscious muscle recruitment strategy working from biggest to smallest rather than smallest to biggest. With the addition of the NMES, the goal is ideally to meet somewhere in the middle and regain effective and conscious maximal muscle recruitment faster to mitigate all the secondary complications that can result from disuse, loss of muscle activation and control. Now the PowerDot has some amazing settings and options that make its use so easy for the clinician and the patient. And we all know that the more convenient and effective a clinical tool is, the more likely we are to use it. First, the size and simplicity of the device is next level. Literally, this is the device. These are the only wires you need, and these are the only pads you're gonna need. In addition to that, they also have built-in rehab protocols already in the app. So rather than wasting your precious patient time trying to remember specific parameters like what wavelength should I use? How long should I be doing this for? How frequent should they be using it? PowerDot has protocols built in and ready to go for you. You name it, they have it. So whether you have a patient following an ACL reconstruction that needs dis a disuse atrophy setting or possibly muscle re-education and increasing range of motion for spasticity, a hip prosthesis, patellofemoral pain, a rotator cuff, an agonist and an antagonist protocol, or following a shoulder subluxation, they have all of it. They even have tense and pain modulation settings as well, and performance and massage. On top of that, not only do you have the option of using this unit in the clinic, but you can actually send your patients home with their own unit. 
which we'll talk about a little bit more. But let's just think about that for a quick second. The ability to send your patients home with their very own power dot is huge. And all they need is a smartphone. Think about all the barriers we have to compliance already within our medical system when it comes to plan of care. There's insurance visits, access to equipment, busy schedules, etc. Imagine having your patients using a device like this from the comfort of their home or gym and how big of a difference that is going to make in their plan of care and more importantly, their results. So without further ado, let's learn how to use this thing, shall we? All right, so let's get to learn how to use the Power.MT. So as we discussed, all we're gonna need is a smartphone or an iPad, as well as the Power.MT, the set of wires that it comes with. These are the only wires and the three pads. So once you get your iPad set up, we're gonna go ahead and choose the program that we're gonna to wanna to use. So as discussed, we are gonna be focusing on the disuse atrophy protocol today. So that's gonna be perfect for your post-op patients following like an ACL reconstruction or a total knee replacement, for example. We're gonna ad hoc a session. We're choosing a single device. So we're gonna do a single device session and we're gonna to go to the quads. So what you're gonna notice once you click on each muscle group, it's gonna have a picture laid out for you of exactly where the pads should go. So that's gonna make it really easy to use in the clinic and both for your patients at home. We're gonna connect the device once it's found via Bluetooth and continue. While that connects, I'm gonna go ahead and set this guy up on the pads. The best thing about this, it's magnetic. Super, super easy to latch onto. You can kind of feel it click and we're ready to go. All right, from here it says start session. So normally first time I like to hold on to it, but if they have experience with it, I'll have the patient control um, the intensity of the exercise and the stimulation. So the great thing about this, Mike is gonna go ahead and increase his um, intensity. It's gonna guide him exactly on how long he should be contracting for, how long he should be relaxing for, which is going to change based on the protocol that you choose. So that doesn't mean that you don't have to implement maybe some of the other skills cues and techniques that you use in the clinic to facilitate muscle activation. So let's say we're gonna go for a quad set right now, right? Maybe we put a towel behind it, right? And we're going for that max contraction. Ideally, if you can tolerate it, you wanna ramp up that intensity to the point where that muscle twitches already on its own. You're getting a nice muscle activation. However, if that's a little bit too intense for someone who's just you know straight out of surgery or something, or maybe has a little bit of a lower pain tolerance, that sensory input is also going to be helpful. So as long as we're getting that stimulation actively from the stim units or from the power dot, as well as the active contraction from the patient, you can guarantee that you're maximizing the motor unit and muscle fiber recruitment. So let's go ahead and let's progress to a straight leg raise, right? There's no wires. I don't need to move anything around. He's gonna squeeze, hold, and control for that designated time. The nice thing is too, is as it attenuates, he can self increase or decrease the intensity during his exercise. Let's get one more in there. Perfect, look at those quad gains in the making. We love it, we love it. And let's go ahead and after this rep, go ahead and just hit the pause button for me. Right at the bottom, perfect, right. So now we're paused, we're in between sets and let's go into another exercise, right? We talked about how difficult it is to kind of transition between room to room or exercise when we have that big box and all those electrical tentacles around, but look how easy it's gonna be. Let's go into squats. Let's go ahead right in front of the table here. And same idea, if I wanna control it, I can hold on to it, but if I want the patient to feel a little bit more at ease, I'm gonna have him self-control, hit play, and he's gonna squat, and he can perform the squat, he can do holds, he can go focus on the eccentric, concentric component. And again, think about this, you can go into lunges, you can do terminal knee extensions, you can walk to the squat rack. So again, super easy to move around, transition from exercises, pause, stop, start, et cetera. And the whole time the app is telling you how long you have left of each contraction, how long you have left of each set, of each rep, and of the protocol as a whole. Let's finish this last one. Almost there. Nice, getting that full quad activation all the way through. Go ahead and pause. And from here, let's go ahead and go into how exactly your patient's gonna use this on their own at home. All right, so we went over just how to use the Power.MT in the clinic. Now let's go over how to use it at home. So our patient Michael here went home, he has his power dot with him, he has the wires, he has his three pads with him, and he has his patient profile set up on his smartphone device. When he goes into his home screen, he's gonna notice that his quadriceps femoris disuse atrophy program is already there waiting for him. Because what I did in the clinic is I set it up for him, I decided how many days a week I wanted him to do it. So that means I can choose for him to do it one day a week, three days a week, seven days a week. I decided how long the program is gonna be, let's say 
two weeks versus four weeks to allow him to have access to it and for the accountability of it both in and outside of the clinic. So once he is home doing this, he can go ahead and proceed doing the same exact exercises, whether it's like the straight leg raises that we did in the clinic. And then again, changing that intensity at home once we educated him exactly on how to do that and go back and forth between his squats, straight leg raises, etc., just like he would in the clinic. Again, the great thing about doing this both at home and in the clinic is you're getting increased frequency in the muscle stimulation. So that's going to help recuperate all those muscle gains a lot more now that he's doing it at home and in the clinic compared to if he was just doing it in the clinic alone. All right, pre avers thanks so much for joining us for our NMES overview and Power.MT product review today. Trust me when I say this tool is literally a game changer in the clinic. Not only is it easy to use, but it is truly effective and most importantly, improves results both in and outside of the clinic. If you want to learn more about how you can get your hands on your very own Power.MT or just want to learn more about it, head over to Therabody's website to learn more. Hey prehabbers, if you enjoyed our content, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Or better yet, head over to our website in the description below and check out the dozens of programs that we've created to help you take control of your health today. Ha, ha, ha.